Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our other videos. Somebody was looking for a sticky autoplay video. So if I roll down this page, we've got a little video there and it's going to stick to the bottom. When I get to the middle of the bottom of the section, it's going to stick to the top there. And when I roll back down, it's going to pop to where it was. And I know there's not much going on there, but that is actually an autoplay with mute video. And once again, if I roll up, it'll stick to the top of the page. When it gets to the bottom of that section, it's going to go up with the rest of the site. When we roll back down and get to the original position, it's going to pop back and be sticky to the top of that section. Really easy to do, no coding involved today. Well, that's not quite true. We've got to embed the video code to make this autoplay and mute. But apart from that, it's really easy. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. OK, once enabled, let's go down. I've got a section up the top here. If I roll down, I've got another section that contains our video and a few little call to action modules here just to give it a bit of height. So let's go in and delete our little module here. I'm going to click on it and hit the little trash can. OK, so I've got a section here, the blue tab, and several rows in it. And we're going to put it in this row right here. OK, we'll go into this row. We'll hit the little dark button to add a new module. Divi comes with all these modules straight out of the box. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll also install another dozen modules to help you display your product. Today I'm going to use a code module for this rather than a video module. That way we can mute and autoplay it as well. So I'm going to add a code module. And there we are, it's popped in and right there. What I'm going to do now is go and grab a video from YouTube. I've got a YouTube video open here. Obviously go to the video you want. Roll down, hit the share button at the bottom and hit the embed. This will give you your embed code. You can set a start time if you want. I want to show my player controls because I want them to be able to stop, start, mute, turn the volume up and make it full screen if they want to. I'm going to grab all this code up here from the opening pointy bracket to the closing pointy bracket there. Control C to copy. Get that one out of the way now. And we can pop our code in right here. OK, there's our little video. It's popped up there. I want it to auto play and to be muted. So right after the little video code here, which is here, HTTPS, you want to make sure you don't lop off that inverted comma there. Just before that, put your cursor in there. To make it auto play, we're going to say question mark auto play equals one. And as you can see, that's starting to auto play our video right there. But I don't want the sound, billion, 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 so I'm going to mute it also. Billion, 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 so I'm going to say billion, ampersand billion, or the and sign. Mute equals one, and that should take away the volume right there. There we go. It's still playing. If they want volume, they can put the volume slider up. If they want it full screen, they can hit the full screen button there. So we've got our auto play video. It is right where we want it there. But now we want it to be sticky so that when we roll up or down the page, it remains on the page in view while we're within this section with our little call to actions here. And that's really easy to do. So let's go over to our advanced. We'll go down to scroll effects. And where it says sticky position, I'm going to have it stick to both the top and the bottom. What do I want it to stick to? I'm going to make it stick to the top and bottom of our section here. And you can choose row, column, body area, whatever you want. But the section is going to do me. If you want it there all the way, just choose the page option. Now, when I've got a blue section right here, as you can see, that's sticky already. When it gets to the top of our section, which is right here, it'll stick go back to where it was when we get to the bottom of this section it'll stick to the top of the page and stop sticking when we get to the bottom of that section there we go fantastic OK 
Okay, let's save these changes and see what we've got here. I'm going to hit the little purple button, save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Okay, and if we roll down, that video should come into view. There it is. Just as we get to our section here, as we roll down the section, it'll stay at the bottom there. When it gets to the position it's in, it'll stick. And then when it gets up to the top there, it's going to stick at the top for us. When it gets to the bottom of the section, it's going to roll on up and come back into play as soon as we roll down to that section again. And of course, people can mute, pause, turn the volume up, make it full screen if they want to just like any other video. So there you go guys, there's a little floating, sticky position, automated video for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day.